All I can say right now is wow, wow, wow! Right here with the Gat T Man. Welcome to my stage again. I'm always bringing some interesting things to you and your family. I talk about stress, gas, and bloating. For those of you who are just now tuning in or, or, or actually just coming in contact with the Gat T Man, my name is Will Roy Gatlin Jr. and I'm the snack man to the stars. I'm the Gat T Man. I'm Gatlin the Associates. I'm, I, 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 I am June June. I'm the man who actually come out every single weekend for the last 15 years trying to help children with bloated stomachs. My story is my daughter bloated when she was 12. Bloating is called colic. When we were babies, they would burp us, feed us, burp us, feed us, burp us. Gorillas, <coughs> dogs, <coughs> birds. Everybody blows out air because air is one of the biggest um, killers in our society. Air will ride out uh, food. It will uh, turn food into mold. Air will disintegrate food over a period of time. Air will cause cancer. Air will cause disease. Air will cause inflammation. I'm going to teach you in the next five minutes how to regulate your body so you can live a healthier life. Basically, I want you to get ready to call your mother, your brother, your sister, your uncles, and all your family members to let them know you are about to listen to this guy. Tea show. Yes, it is. It's a Gat Tea show. I'm the snack man to the stars, Will Roy Gatlin Jr., about to give you some great information. Listen up. Listen up. This is what I tell people. Your body has three elements on it. It has to keep them circulating. The elements are blood. The blood never leaves the body. Water. The water can leave the body through urinating. And the air. The air leaves the body through burping the gas off your digestive system. Now, I'm going to go through the blood. The blood is circulated through absorbing nutrition by what you put into your mouth. If you absorb nutrition from your heart, basically what you need to do is eat some good nutrition so your heart can go to your stomach and get some good food. Remember, you can't bring in new till you get rid of the old. So if you bloat it and distend it, it's called colic. And colic simply means that you are impacted on the digestive system and the walls are not absorbing new food. So you will have symptoms. You will eat and get tired. You can also sleep and awake tired and become irritated, easily angered, and short patient. Now let's move on to the water. The water can come in through breathing in the air. The air and the water, it works kind of hand in hand. They don't, they don't teach you this in America, that air has condensation. They'll tell you it, but they don't teach you that when you swallow the air that you get inflammation that makes you have poor circulation and that this air can contaminate your insides. So it turns into gas. They tell you it's gas, but they should emphasize or we should emphasize as humans that gas is the most poisonous thing that you can keep on your digestive system. Now, moving on to now, well, we went over the air, we went over the blood, and now we're trying to talk about the air, blood, and water. So the water is the inflammation, the air is the, what you breathe in your mouth, and the blood. The blood goes through your body, through circulating, through your heart, and you know you have a filter for everything. You have the filter for the water, which is the bladder. You have the filter for the air, which is the... Uh, the lungs and you have a filter for your blood which would be your liver now it, well people go what is the kidney for then well the kidney it's a tricky it's a tr it's real tricky it, it sits in the middle of the liver and the urinary tract it filters toxicities out of the kidney and that's the only way the toxicities leave the blood does that make sense so what happens is if the toxicities build up in the kidney, then the kidney can't, can't cleanse the liver and the liver builds up toxicities that contaminates the rest of the organs in the body. Does, does that make sense? How many, how many, how many? Well, what we're learning is that if you get yourself detoxed and keep yourself detoxed, you put in good new food, you get out old food, and that's what we're all about, GAT tea. It's a stress-relieving formulated tea that's used to calm your nerves and get rid of gas, bloating, old food off of your stomach. Why do I need this tea? Well, the same reason your mother used and your grandmother used olive oil, castor oil, black droughts, milk and magnesia, egg slacks, three sixes, senna, mullein tea, catnip tea, asphysity, father johns, whatever. Whatever they were using to get you regulated, the reason you needed to be regulated was because you suffer from stress. Now, stress is the number one killer in our society, and that's the combination that we all have, whether you're blue, purple, black, green, Arabic, Spanish, uh, white, purple. It doesn't matter. 
Stress is the common denominator of our society today. So I'm going to send out this post to all my Facebook friends, to all my YouTube two players, to all my social media people to hope that you can grab this information. I wanted to lay it down in one bit, five minutes, so that way you can really grasp how to regulate and keep yourself and your family healthy. Stay tuned. Check out my website. It's GatT.com. We're always out here making fun videos and making it come exciting to you, bringing it right to your home. God bless you. Stay tuned for some more good information. Hey, we'll see you at the flea market too. Hey, we'll be there Saturday and Sundays. Also, Illinois. Talk to you later. Peace out.